All right, so I'm excited today because we get to check out the new Hazy Flame support, which should be a pretty fun time. Uh, these guys were just added with the mini box, so literally just released yesterday. I'm sure you obviously know, unless you live under a rock. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this new support is pretty pretty good, and it's nice to see Hazy's finally getting their kind of... Um, got a full support that they need, um, which is pretty good. So for that kind of reason today, he's reaching three Hazy Slain Griffin, uh, three Hazy Slain Periton, uh, three ha uh, Slinks, uh, two... The Three uh, new battle and boxer veil, uh, three hydras, one Cerberus, and then one rekindling, and then three hazy pillar, which is a crazy new field spell. Not crazy new field spell, but a crazy new uh, continue spell for hazies. And then for the stack, we have one Gaga cowboy, one hazy fan ba basiltress, uh, two force focus, and then three sword breakers. So right now, I've only got the one hazy flame basiltress, which could potentially. I will fall to um I will fall to some consistency um for that. So unfortunately I only got one, but I think it should be fine. Um I think we should still be pretty good. Uh it should, for right now, definitely in the future you're definitely gonna want to rock two, but for right now we'll stick with the one. Um so this new uh, this new ace monster for Hazy Flames that Basil just this guy looks crazy. <laughs> uh, really good card, so it's two level two or more level six fire monsters. Um once per turn, you can attach one Xyz material from this card to target one monster your opponent controls or is in their graveyard. Banish that target. Really good effect. Even not even just even not just having banishing on the board, but having to banish the card from the grave is really good because it means you could just shut down certain decks, and I think that's really really nice, uh, and I like that a lot, uh, which is pretty good. And then this card gains effects based on the number of Xyz materials attached to it. Three or more, this card gains 200 attack for each material. Uh, four or more, his card cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. That's great. And then five or more. This card cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. And when I first read that, I was like, five or more of these materials, I was like, wow, that seems impossible. How the hell does that work? Um, <laughs> but that kind of where, that's kind of where um, Hazy Pillar comes in, which is a really great um, spell. So you can normal summon Hazy Flame Monsters for one less tribute, which is great because you can... Uh, it means you can just summon all your Hazy Flames on the board as a normal summon, um, which is great. Um, once per turn, you can target one face-up Xyz monster you control, attach one Hazy Flame monster from your hand or your side of the field to that Xyz monster as Xyz material. Really great, because um, not only is that really good for Basiltress for stacking those five, it's also good for any other Xyz monster that you may have in your deck. Uh, right now, obviously, we've only got three uh, rank sixes, which I'm kind of still a little bit... Um, Still a little bit upset, upset uh, about because I feel like I don't know. I think I don't know how much rank sixes there are in the game, but I feel like we could do with a few more. Uh, I'm not really upset, I suppose. I just feel like we could do with a few more. I'm not even sure if there's any like generic ones unless or less all level sixes are a part of um, uh, certain decks. But I feel like we could do with level six. I suppose to be fair, a lot of the level sixes are really goddamn strong. Um, because you've got stuff like Cyber Dragon Infinity, um, which, but then again, Cyber Dragon Infinity has a different, uh, harder summon, so yeah, I don't know, I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, I feel like we had a bit, feel like we should have a bit more sixes, but um, yeah, so that's Basil Triss, and then that's four Basil Triss, which is really good, or Force Focus, or Sword Breaker. If inclined, they do need it. And for the new monsters, we have our first one is Hazy Flame Griffin, which is a really, really good card. If your opponent controls a monster and all monsters on your side of the field and your graveyard of fire and only fire, you can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent can target this card with card effects. That's really good if you do not have a Hazy Pillar. Uh, it's really good for, for that. Um, so that's an easy synchro, or not easy synchro, what? Easy summon on the board, which you can then tribute. If you, obviously, you can then tribute off Maisie for Sphinx. For Sphinx. Which can then give you um, uh, sending cards to the grave, so you can summon another fire. Then then that'll give you the bastard just right there, which is pretty good. Um, the new Balan Boxer Veil is pretty good. This is kind of like the new Kyroid ish. Uh, not really Kyroid so much, but more like the um, the super heavy samurai guy. Uh, that one that lets you summon him to the field when you take damage. I think it is. Uh, it's a similar effect. When you take battle damage, you can special this card from your hand. If you do gain life points equal to damage you took, which is you know, pretty good, and it's kind of why I have the Gaga Cowboy. I don't ever expect to use Gaga Cowboy. I just need something to throw in until I get my second Basil Um So that's kind of why he's there. Uh, pretty decent uh, new card, which is probably going to see some use in certain decks. Uh, I think it's kind of nice. And then we have Hazy Flame Hydra. I'm probably going to target card, card effects, uh, like most Hazy Flames. I think all of them have that at this point, except for like Cerberus. I don't think Cerberus has it. You can spec cannot special uh, monsters except fire monsters. That's fine. Like season. A Xyz monster that was summoned using this card as Xyz material gains this effect. When it is Xyz summoned, you could target one Hazy Flame monster in your graveyard. Attach the 
attached that target to this as the exceeds material. So that's again really good for Basil Trisk because then, then it gives you an extra uh, exceeds material to that. Um, because you can grab it from the grave, or because obviously with uh, Hazy Pillar, you can't grab your Hazy Flame monsters from your grave. So that's kind of nice as well. And then Rekindling, which is the new spell, which I think is really, really good. Ask uh, some uh, from your grave as many monsters, fire monsters as possible with 200 defense, which is really good for Hydra, because the only one I can grab is Hydra. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. I think I. That's pretty much it. I think I've done enough rambling. We're using Aroma Strategy. Uh, oh, yeah, I changed it about uh, Aroma Strategy. Um. Again, that's making a comeback again. So we're gonna go hop on to the first duel. All right, guys, we're gonna jump in with the first duel. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a, a not a not disclaimer. I'm gonna break the fourth wall, basically. Is what I'm trying to say. I we just did a first duel there that we just did, and um, first of all, I had a really good opening hand, um, like it was. Bro, it was, it was really good. Um, like we got Basil Trist, we got the five things that we needed, and of course, what do I get right away? Purgatriod. Yep, uh, Purgatriod. Yep, I'm so sick. Ah, oh, I hate Alistair. It just kills my enjoyment of the day. Um, that's enough talking about it, but like, holy hell, that was... That was really annoying. <laughs> I just don't like Alistair, and I can't wait for Alistair to be gone. I don't think Alistair will be gone completely, but... When the balance comes in, but it definitely will be affected heavily, which is good. Not be about. So Periton, okay, back to the actual game. So we have Periton, um, but we don't have any monsters. I need you. Yeah, it's Black Wings. I need you to summon like one Black Wing. That'd be pretty good. No, okay. And on the Periton. Uh, crap. I wish that Periton... Can I change that Periton for this Balan Boxer Veil? Uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Ends his turn, so he's having... He is... Oh, my God. Periton, go away. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> oh my god. And then we have another Periton too. Sphinx, that still doesn't help. It still doesn't solve our problem. Dude, I've bricked. You've bricked. We've all bricked. Want to go get some ice cream? Oh my god. This is fun. This is a fun interactive duel. Oh, finally he summoned something. Even though he did summon something, I feel like I... Mm, I don't want to be targeted. I'm good. I mean, good. We, we can't be targeted by certain cards, obviously, but we can still be destroyed by traps. There's still traps that are going to end our life. Uh, I don't... That sounds bad. Uh, so this is... Or not this. He goes in for the 15k, which is fine. I'm not going to battle unbox with that. I, am I going to battle unbox? No. I have to battle unbox with that. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm not gonna, but I have to because well I didn't have to because I could have had Griffin. You know, say take that as you will. I mean, I can still do, I can still do Griffin because this guy's still fire. Um, <laughs> this guy's still fire. There's Hazy Pillar. Hello, Hazy Pillar. Now you decide to show yourself. So we can do Griffin. We can do both Griffins. Jesus, we can do both Griffins. Uh. We don't have, um, bro, I don't, I wish I had Cerberus, I really do wish I had Cerberus. I'm not going to have two Xyz materials for that, though. Um, actually, the balance box is kind of annoying. Battle Boxer is pretty darn annoying. I'm actually gonna be honest. Uh, okay, you know what? You no, know no, it's fine. You can summon fire monster from your hand to the graveyard. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, you know, he'll, mm hmm. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just go for two. We'll do two. Uh, sorry guys. Sorry, I know I'm taking a while. I just I don't know what to do. So we're gonna go for Basil Trist. Obviously, get him on the board. Um, pretty good. And then we're gonna tribute. We're going to tribute off um, you for you. For you. We're going to go Periton. 
Uh, I guess we'll send Perryton to the grave. We'll send the Perryton to play the Perryton. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. So, <laughs> uh, let's go both Hydras, actually. This is... Okay, hang on. I have a play. I have a play here. I have a play. So... Bash into the interface. Oh, because of... Because of his effect, I can't actually... I'll tell you what I am going to do, though. I am going to do this. Uh, I'm going to detach Griffin and I'm going to banish you. Because you can just go right away. And we're going to swing in and hope that we don't get drowned. Sakuretsu armor. Okay. That's fine. Sakuretsu armor is fine. I st we still win. We still win. That was a roundabout win. I feel like could have been a bit easier to do. I don't really think that was that exciting of all the duels to have. But, eh, whatever. I guess I'm going to jump in with the second duel. So my 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 thought process behind um um uh, sorry my thought process I'm sorry look at something my thought process behind the last duel was um at the end there I wanted to kind of exceed someone into force focus or sword breaker as well to have with basil just but I forgot because of Hydra's effect that you can only do fire monsters so that didn't really work out. Um, this is, this is not bad, this actually isn't, this isn't too bad, no Hazy Pillar, which is good, this kind of sucked, but we do have, uh, Hazy Griffin, Hazy Stone Griffin, which is really good, because we can special summon Griffin, and then special summon Periton, which is pretty good, oh, so we have, uh, some Red Eyes to, some Red Eyes to play against, which is interesting, it should be pretty, let's check these guys out, Okay, so he's going for Red Eyes Fusion. And uh, we're not going to be targeting anything really with monster effects right now. Or card effects. Uh, unless we wanted to go Force Focus. I think we should be okay. Um, we're safe from targeting stuff, but we're not safe from everything. So we're not safe. I'm hoping that's going to be just Red Eyes Spirit or uh, Red Eyes. Um, or the Red Eyes Insight. Not Insight, the other one. Return of Red Eyes? That's it, isn't it? Oh, there's Hazy Pillar, which we don't get, we don't have right now. Um, that's fine, though. We have pretty good options. So we're gonna go. We're gonna normal summon Hazy Flame Parrot. Uh, Parrotin. So. Oh, yeah, but of course, it doesn't really matter that we have Hazy Pillar because we're just gonna. Recycle the deck, reshuffle the deck. This is fine. And uh, let's go servers. We go servers. Yeah, we do want to go servers. We want to go. I think we'll go. I was gonna go for three. We'll go <laughs> Hydra and Sphinx, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, actually, kind of better that we do shuffle it because oh, <laughs> still ended up with it anyway. A part of me doesn't even want to do that, but having th what does th three materials gets us um two hundred stack for each material, which is gonna be what we need. So unfortunately, we have to Sphinx because I don't want to ditch. Pillar, because it's such a good spell, but we have to. Rekindling's next, though, which is pretty good. Um, I like the Rekindling's there. Uh, I guess we'll go Periton, doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we're going to go for Vessel, just... Uh, just having that extra 200... Excuse me, guys. Having that extra 200 uh, attack or whatever for each material is going to be what saves us here. Uh, oh, yeah. Hydra, so we're going to do Hydra's effect. So we'll attach Griffin. That'll give us four effects, which is really nice. We could target that and banish it, but I think we'll keep it because so we can be a little bit on the safer side. So we'll get rid of the U. And then I could have banished it, but I especially could have banished it, especially if it is Red Eyes Insight or Return or Red Eyes Return of Red Eyes. And um, well, Return of Red Eyes only lets you do normal monsters, though, right? Okay, so he ends his turn. I'm pretty sure we're good. We're golden. Yeah, we're golden. We are golden. All right, guys, we're gonna jump in with the third duel. Uh, let's keep going. Hopefully, we can get um, more of a fleshed out duel. Um, yikes! Um, because we don't seem to, we don't seem to be getting them uh, as of late. But we're gonna. Um, okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna get Tristan Taylor. He's gonna be on a win. Let me a rank up match. Hmm. So feel the warriors. Could it be? Could it be? It is normal knights. It is normal knights. Okay. Interesting. So we got a normal knights in our hands. So we got a new deck to fight. New wish deck. So we're gonna draw it, and he's probably gonna go for boars. Uh, it's gonna. Oh, he's gonna go for Dristan. You don't want to activate. He's probably gonna put it. Back on my draw, right? 
yeah, put it back on Because there's no point in putting put, no point of him putting it on Justin. Um really doesn't help. Okay, this is pretty decent. So we're gonna go Griffin. I'm gonna target me. I wonder what that is. I actually genuinely wonder what that is. Um I'm genuinely if I had to guess, I generally hope that it's just the trap, the one that lets you add your equip spells. I think it might be, which is pretty good. And I'm going to trigger this off. Cerberus, you can go to the grave, I think. Mm, yeah, Cerberus, you can go to the grave. Go Hydra, and then we're going to go Sphinx. I think Sphinx and Hydra is a pretty good combo. Uh, if it's Flagate, I'm going to end off my mind <laughs> or uh, not into mold of my mind um then we're gonna do this monster can't i mean no it's not it must be the trap because you can activate it now so it's obviously not floodgate uh obviously hydra it's obviously our uh, well we can't can we do two hydras i'm gonna go bash bustle trees uh, Muscle Tree scares me though. Not Muscle Tree scares me. <laughs> this my own monster scares me. By the way, I hope you want to know that. Uh, and then we'll attach Griffin. I don't think we can do two. We can do two Hydras. That's why we did the Hydra. See, I know what I was doing. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I never know what I'm doing. Don't worry. Um, it's Glory of the Noble Knights. Okay, that's fine. He's gonna. I mean, they're gonna resolve before he can target me, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Out of here. Get out of here. It's equipping it to Dristan. I'm gonna go back to my draw. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to do that. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna. It gives it back to Dristan though, doesn't it? It gives it back to Dristan. Let's crack it up and just show up a card. We still can't be targeted, so I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna give it go servers, and I'm gonna banish. I'm gonna banish my draw because I think I, having my draw banished is just really nice. Oh, it goes back. It goes straight to grave, and then we'll give it a view. Boom! Awesome. Easy. So he can't target me now, and he's got no monsters. So I think we have, hopefully, have a pretty easy dub on our hands. Maybe I won't count the duel. I won't count it over yet, basically. Uh, but I'm hoping things will be pretty good. We have Balan Boxer, which is kind of nice right now. Um, obviously, I could normal summon that. I'm not gonna. Uh, I could detach. Can you? I won't attach a card. I'm just gonna attack. I won't attach a card. So it's gonna go boars. I think. It's over pretty much now. Uh, I don't have hazy. I don't have hazy pillar. If I had hazy pillar, that would be really great. That means we could definitely can. We definitely um secure the dub. Um, come on, guy. Okay, so he's gonna set another monster. Like I feel like if we don't. Uh, no hazy pillar. No. See if I don't. Then I'm doing one set veil. One set veil, and then I have my turn. Because if we don't, um, if I don't start summoning. I can't win the duel. I can't just sit here and just attack into monsters and monsters and monsters and hope. Like, see what I mean? He's just constantly doing that. So we're fine. We're just gonna go hazy. We're gonna tribute off Battle and Boxer Veil for Hazy Flame Sphinx. It's a monster. We're gonna lose both Battle and Boxer Veils, which is crazy. And then we're gonna just target Cerberus. is pretty good. Can't do the Xyz because we don't have um because we don't have a second Vassal Trace, but it doesn't matter. We were not. We wouldn't want to do that anyway. Pretty good duel though. I guess that's going to conclude today's video. I had a lot of fun. Um, Hazy Flame Support is really fun and really good. I still think that Arvada is probably the best thing out of this entire um, of the entire deck. But, you know what? Still pretty darn fun. Still pretty darn fun. Um, 
But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. If you did, hit that like button. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's down below in the description. And yeah, I'll try my best to get all the other new support out as quick as I can. Uh, it's only a mini box, so it's not too difficult. But uh, I'm trying my best. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.